Hello and welcome. If this is your first time here, I'm Garth Allen. This is Racing News Now, and we're joined today by the 2020 Arkham Menard Series champion, Brett Holmes. Brett, how's it sound to have champion in front of your name now? <laughs> oh, man, it sounds great. Um, you know, it's uh, something we've been striving for for a long time, so to uh, to finally get that under our belt is a, is a really cool deal, and I'm just, uh, just glad we could uh, just pull it off the way we did it. So let's go back to the beginning of the season. When this season started, you didn't even plan on running a full season this year. I want to say you were planning on like half of the season somewhere in there. And then the pandemic hit, and I'm going to guess you got a lot of time to work on your cars in that stretch. Because after we came back from that, it seemed like you were consistently right there contending for wins top five every week. And so when was the point that you said, okay we have to run this full season because we can legitimately pull off this championship. Yeah. Like you said, I mean, at the beginning we weren't really planning on doing that. We were going to, you know, run probably like 12 to 14 ARCA races and then um, try to try to start our own little truck program. But um, when the pandemic hit, it, it shut a lot of, uh, a lot of places down, especially like chassis builders and stuff like that. So um, we, uh, you know, we, so we couldn't really do that. And we knew when the schedule, when uh, we started back racing, by the time we did, it was going to really condense the schedule and make it tough to do, you know, to, to go in two different directions, really. So um, so we really took that time to update some of our ARCA cars, and I really feel like that's where what, we're, what really turned our team around. And when we started back racing uh, after that, that's, uh, you know, we, uh, we were finishing top three, top five every week, and it, uh, um, you know, that's when we were like, well, we we're we're in contention to win races consistently. Like we're running good at all these different tracks. Like, you know, I think think we got a shot at it now. So, um, you know, it's uh, I've ran two other full time seasons in the past. Um, I committed to a third one, and then uh, in 2018, and we ended up just stopping because we were running so bad. So, to uh, to have the season be as successful as it is as it was, and um, is just really amazing to me. So let's go back to Kansas, that first career win. Uh, you you mentioned you've done this for so long now in the Arkham Menard series. To finally be able to pull off that first win at Kansas earlier this year, describe that feeling for us. What was that like to finally be able to get that monkey off your back? Man, I mean, it was, uh, it was huge. I mean, I can't, you know, uh, put into words, you know, er everything I was thinking about as far as, like, you know, some of the really tough moments that we went through, um, racing in ARCA and, and, and some tough decisions we had to make. And, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I, I thought about quitting in the past and, um, just because, you know, when you go so long without being, without winning or getting in victory lane, it really gets to you. It, you know, it wants to try your confidence and, um, makes you question yourself a lot. And, you know, for that to finally happen. I mean, we could see it coming together and as good as we were running. And I felt like we, we should have had a couple more wins this season that we let slip away from us from other and, and other races. But, um, you know, I know we're, uh, we're capable of winning a lot more than just one race right now. And um, so that's, that's definitely why I want to come back and, and run, still run some arc races. I still think I've got a little bit more to prove there. And um, I don't know, you know, obviously how many races I'm going to do or, uh, in what capacity, but I definitely think you'll see our team next year in ARCA. Well, you mentioned trying to start up a little bit of a truck program. That was the thought earlier in the season. Is that still uh, an idea moving forward, especially now that you've won the championship? Yeah, I think so, for sure. I mean, you know, I just, uh, it, logistically, it's very hard for us. We've got a small shop and not a lot of room and uh, one truck and trailer. So, you know, uh, figuring that out and obviously, you know, trucks cost a lot more to run than it does Arca. So, um, you know, that's where we're working on finding a sponsor and we're, we'll constantly be doing that through the off season and hopefully something turns, turns up. I think we've got, you know, a good, um, uh, a good thing under our belts to going forward and to show that we are, uh, our team is a good investment and, um, you know, it, uh, it's a big step, you know, it was a big step for us going from late models to Arca. So I know going to, to trucks from Arca is going to be another big step. So it, uh, it'll be a process, you know, I, I know Nick, you know, it's not like we'll be contending for a championship and truck series next year, but, um, 
I could definitely see us doing that someday. Okay. So let's talk about uh, the competition this year with, with Michael Self for this championship. There was a lot made about how you two have a lot of respect for each other and your driving skills. What was it like to be able to, to race him specifically for this championship? It was cool. I mean, we did a little bit last year, you know, but I felt like Venturini was a little bit better than us last year and um, tough to beat. But, you know, over the you know, the course of two or three years, you know, we've had a, a few races where we've ran side by side for like, you know, 10, 20, 30 laps. And it's been really cool, um, you know, so for it to come down like it did and us kind of being, you know, one versus one at, at uh, Kansas, um, you know, it, it was really cool. And I know um, had he not gotten in, in some wrecks earlier in the season, you know, it would have been a little bit closer, but um, I think we were a little bit more on our game this year and, just improved on what we did last year. And I think that that was, uh, that made all the difference. And, um, it was, uh, it, it was really fun really. And I, uh, you know, I, I wish the best for him and I hope, you know, uh, everything he, you know, he decides to do in his racing career is, um, is good. And, um, he, like I said, he's a great guy. So I hope the best for him. So let's talk about, there's been a lot of, uh, it's pretty well known at this point. You, we're juggling a full-time college schedule on top of doing the, the ARCA schedule this season. How tough was that to balance the two? It was tough. I mean, this year, this this semester really was tougher than in years past just because, um, you know, like I said, the, the, the schedule got condensed. So it was like, um, I mean, we had four months where we had uh, two weekends off, and that's, uh, that is extremely tough and tough for a small ARCA team and, um, tough for me d just doing a lot of traveling and not being able to uh, really whole ass anything really you know I mean I, I feel like I was half-assing some stuff and to get by and I mean it's what you got to do sometimes but uh, luckily I I'm almost done here and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and um, so I, I feel like I'll be able to focus a lot more on racing after this after this year and um, I think we'll we'll just be even better because of that. Definitely. All right. Well, I think that's all I got for you today. So, Brett, thanks for joining us today, and congratulations on this championship. Well-deserved, man. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on.